The United Arab Emirates, the young and prosperous country, celebrates its 49th National Day. The state was established by His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. Its formation was the dream and ambition of his heart and mind. He worked hard towards its unification and improving its citizenry, the youth, and future generations. The rulers of the six emirates shared his dream and ambitions, thus the state became rich and powerful with a glorious history, brilliant present, and a promising future. The children have followed the footsteps of the leader and other founding figures. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, and their brethren rulers continued to build and realize the hopes and aspirations of the citizens and future generations. The historical start of this union began with the consensus of the rulers of the Emirates of Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Ajman, Fujairah, and Om Al Quwain on December the 2nd of 1971, and their agreement on the union where they approved a temporary constitution that organizes the state and defined its goals. On February 10th, the following year, the Emirate of Ras Al Khaimah announced its ascension to the Federation so that the contract of the seven emirates was completed in one framework. The United Arab Emirates, or the UAE, celebrated the National Day during the year of Zayed, the year when the UAE decided to celebrate its great founder, his legacy, achievements, and visions, and to show the new generations how their parents and grandparents worked hard to establish a united and strong state with powerful politics, a robust economy, vibrant culture, a close-knit community, and above all, its citizenry functioning in all fields. That occasion translates the Union's march, which spanned over the past decades, luminous and full of events tasks and accomplishments, whose first features were drawn and established by the founding leader, the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan, and His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan, who led the process of giving so that the United Arab Emirates continues progress and prosperity at various levels. This national occasion is an opportunity to celebrate the UAE's achievements over the years following the directives of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, President of the UAE, and under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, and the supervision of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces. The UAE government has keenly invested in developing its people and national capacities, ensuring great progress towards making the UAE one of the best countries in the world by the time of the Union's Golden Jubilee. The 49th UAE National Day, named Seeds of the Union, viewed a spectacular show of a moving sculpture surrounded by sea and illuminated by digital visuals portraying themes inspired by the UAE's history and values. Staged in Abu Dhabi, the show broadcast live to an audience of millions in the UAE and beyond, ensuring residents can unite in celebration from the safety of their homes. A member of the organizing committee of the official 49th UAE National Day celebration said that the COVID-19 pandemic required them to approach the official 49th UAE National Day celebrations in a new and ambitious way, one that uses digital visual technology to inspire an audience watching from home. The overarching theme of the live show 
is one of hope and optimism. Embracing the country's rich legacy and traditions, it looks ahead to a vivid future in which we remain true to our values. The narrative of the show artistically revolves around the growth and transformation of a seed into a shoot and then finally into full bloom, mirroring the journey the UAE has taken in the last 49 years. The organizing committee is working to create a memorable live event that will capture the nation's imagination, ensure public safety during the COVID-19 pandemic, and spark celebrations for the 50th UAE National Day Golden Jubilee. In line with the UAE's precautionary and preventative measures, the committee follows the highest standards of health and safety to ensure everyone taking part is safe. This includes a COVID-19 testing policy for all teams and cast members involved in the show and supports the decision of emphasizing the TV broadcast in place of live public attendance. The nation watches on television and online as a live visual extravaganza follows themes based on the UAE's values and ambitions for the future. It pays a moving tribute to the UAE's founding fathers, whose long-term vision of harmony and solidarity led to the formal unification of the United Arab Emirates. In 1918, His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, may God bless his soul, was born into the Al Nahyan family, who had ruled the Emirate of Abu Dhabi for hundreds of years. On August the 6th, 1966, Sheikh Zayed became ruler of Abu Dhabi, and within weeks, a massive development program was underway. Schools, hospitals, roads, and housing was constructed. His vision had always extended beyond the borders of Abu Dhabi. The rulers of the Emirates moved quickly, and on the 2nd of December 1971, the United Arab Emirates formally emerged onto the international stage while Sheikh Zayed himself always attempts to share credit for the remarkable ensuing developments with his fellow members of the Supreme Council of Rulers. Needless to say, that without his wisdom and guidance, they would never have happened. The Supreme Council itself has recognized this by re-electing Sheikh Zayed to successive five-year terms as president. Since its establishment, the UAE has confounded international expectations by developing successfully in all areas of life, social services, health and education, communication and technology, trade and finance, at a rate almost unmatched anywhere or at any time. More importantly, these material achievements have occurred against a backdrop of political and social stability. On the 2nd of November 2004, Sheikh Zayed, the nation's leader, had passed away after a long journey of giving, achievements, and development of the people and the land. In line with his vision, the nation proceeds under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the President of the United Arab Emirates and the members of the Supreme Council of Rulers and their Crown Princes. Moreover, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan, ruler of Abu Dhabi, was elected as the new president of the United Arab Emirates on the 3rd of November 2004 to succeed his father. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa has also undertaken extensive tours throughout the UAE to study the needs of the Northern Emirates, during which he has given instructions for the building of several projects related to housing, education, and the social services. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa has also overseen dramatic changes in the government of Abu Dhabi, where particular attention has been paid to two aspects, improvement in terms of efficiency and cost for services provided to the public, and the diversification of much of the economy, 
so that greater scope has been provided for direct private investment and for public-private partnerships. During the early years of the Federation, he believes it was right and appropriate for government to play the leading role, but now, with a burgeoning private sector and with a well-educated population, the time is right for government, both local and federal, to step back and to concentrate on the core areas of government responsibility. The restructuring of government, he believes, will only be effective if the people of the UAE take it upon themselves the task of contributing effectively. The UAE prepared for the new era by promulgating legislation and placing some regulatory measures on the existing departments, institutions, activities, and relations. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed said, it is high time for their political, religious, cultural, information, educational, and civil society institutions to take up their responsibilities to instill in their society the values of the love of work, to change the negative perceptions about vocational work. He added that it is high time to make people understand the true meaning of work, that it means responsibility and reflects human, civil, and religious values. These institutions also need to work hard to diversify the skills of the national human resources, to raise productivity, encourage investment in human resource development, improve voluntary work, and create awareness on this noble work and its significance to individuals and society in general. The UAE commemorates this year's National Day by highlighting the noble values rooted in the original identity, where the country formed during 2019 an exceptional model in the aspects of development through its scientific, economic, and social achievements that represented a real addition during which it was able to move rapidly towards a better tomorrow for its people and for the Arab and Islamic nations. The UAE distinguished the year 2020 by making it a year of hope and optimism to carry with it the connotations of the year of Zayed and the year of giving to expand in its content and human dimensions. Moreover, the wise and steadfast political stances of the UAE contributed to the region overcoming many challenges and consolidating the Arab sovereign decision. The state's diplomacy was characterized by active moves in its various Gulf, Arab, and international circles, which contributed to strengthening its position and improving its friendships at the Gulf, Arab, and international levels. The success of the Emirati diplomacy preserved its global presence in the field of tolerance and continued its efforts to promote coexistence and combat extremism and hatred through an institutional system headed by the Ministry of Tolerance and many intellectual and religious institutions based in the Emirates. His Highness Sheikh Zayed's vision was based on tolerance which greatly distinguished the Emirati experience. In the UAE, there are many religions, nationalities, different sects and races, but they all coexist with each other. All UAE residents feel that they are partners in the vision and the dream. The presence of the UAE has risen to extend to the region by contributing to leading regional and global efforts to confront extremism and terrorism and to deal with the challenges facing the region according to a clear reading of what the challenges are in partnership with brotherly Arab countries and friendly countries from around the world. The country also maintains good diplomatic relations with the majority of nations around the world. All this is led by the ideas of its leaders and the efforts of the youth. Through his vision, His Highness the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan, may his soul rest in peace, guided the UAE towards the adoption 
of a successful and active foreign policy based on balance, moderation, and non-interference in internal affairs of other countries, in acknowledgement of the role and responsibility the UAE holds at regional and international levels. The UAE emerged as an inspiring model of coexistence and human fraternity, working over the years to lead international efforts towards closer relations between cultures, religions, and civilizations, building bridges that contribute to the progress of nations and enhance security and stability. These values of tolerance and fraternity were highlighted in the UAE capital of Abu Dhabi, which witnessed the birth of the document on human fraternity signed jointly by Pope Francis of the Catholic Church and Sheikh Ahmed al-Tayyib, Grand Imam of Al-Azhar. This historic statement is a unique model among calls for reconciliation and peace, dialogue and closer ties between nations, cultures and civilizations. The document aims to establish new experiences between nations and cultures characterized by friendship and fraternity and aiming to strengthen human relations, build bridges of communication, ensure harmony and goodwill, and fight extremism, violence, and terrorism. The announcement of the Abu Dhabi document coincided with the declaration of 2019 as the Year of Tolerance by His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan, President of the United Arab Emirates. This stressed the importance of acceptance in terms of sustainable institutional work through a set of legislations and policies aimed at deepening the values of tolerance, dialogue, acceptance, and openness to different cultures, especially among new generations which positive outcomes reflect on society in general. The UAE worked on adopting active diplomacy based on openness to the outside world. The country was able to weave a wide network of relations with various countries based on respecting the principles and charters of the United Nations and the international community. And on top of that, democracy, human rights, and non-interference in the internal affairs of other countries. Combined with several initiatives and large-scale projects within the same framework, the Declaration aims to position the UAE as a global capital of tolerance. Initiatives launched to promote dialogue between peoples and religions include the National Program for Tolerance, the Mohammed bin Rashid Award for Tolerance, and the International Institute for Tolerance, in addition to the establishment of several centers to fight extremism. The UAE has planned strategically through foresight to anticipate and analyze future opportunities and challenges in vital fields and execute long-term preemptive plans to achieve national goals using modern technologies and harnessing them to serve the country's people and ensure their happiness. It has focused on development in all sectors, transforming plans into tangible realities through record achievements on both regional and international levels, in which it set the UAE among the world's most advanced countries. These achievements are in line with the aspirations of the wise leadership for the UAE's future to reach the objectives of the UAE Centennial 2071, launched by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum a comprehensive long-term vision spanning over five decades to enhance the UAE's reputation and soft power. Provision of education in the UAE began shortly after the establishment of the Federation, with the inception of the first university in Al Ain Abu Dhabi, the United Arab Emirates University. Since then, the country has progressed with efforts of ensuring high literacy rates, modern programs, and women's share in education. It works on improving its youth's education, which is why the Agenda 2021 has been set. Despite not being among the highest rated on the Education Index, the UAE has made regional significant achievements 
in ensuring women's access to education. The UNDP's Millennium Development Goal number 3, to promote gender equality and empower women, has reached its targeted levels of female participation in primary education and continues to increase. The UAE has technical educational centers such as the Higher Colleges of Technology Center of Excellence for Applied Research and Training, or CERT. CERT offers technology programs. The UAE signed the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. The Emirate of Abu Dhabi has partnered with the Massachusetts New England Center for Children, specialized in assisting children with autism. Developing education was at the center of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed's vision. His fight in reforming and developing education so that it is unique at the international level to raise a distinguished generation on all levels and prepare them to carry the banner and resume the path. The Ministry of Education has adopted Education 2021, a series of three-year plans designed to introduce advanced education techniques, improve innovative skills, and focus more on the self-learning abilities of students. As part of this program, an enhanced curriculum for mathematics and integrated science was introduced at first grade level for the 2003-2004 academic year in all government schools. Meanwhile, the UAE Centennial 2071 highlights the importance of excellent quality of education. Certain areas of focus in education include advanced science and technology, space science, engineering, innovation, and health sciences. Other educational measures include teaching students the mechanisms to discover their individual talents early. On the institutional level, educational institutions are encouraged to be incubators of entrepreneurship and innovation and to be international research centers. For the sixth consecutive year, the UAE maintained its position as one of the largest international donors in the field of official developmental aid in relation to its gross national income after ranking first in 2013, 2014, 2016, and 2017. UAE foreign assistance between 2009 and 2018 amounted to approximately 46 billion US dollars. The UAE has continued to exert tremendous humanitarian efforts to achieve peace and prosperity in the world through its foreign aid, development, and humanitarian programs. The UAE has maintained its position among the largest international donors in terms of official development aid which relative to the UAE's gross national income amounts to 1.31%, almost twice the target of 0.7% set by the United Nations as a global measure of donor efforts. The UAE seeks to make a tangible positive impact to the ultimate goal of humanity, that of eradicating poverty and achieving sustainable development by 2030. The country is at the forefront of efforts to combat poverty and provide foreign aid to those in need, especially those most vulnerable. The UAE's project in developing countries have diversified to include the sectors of infrastructure, education, health, energy, food aid, agriculture, and the environment. The UAE has thus emerged as one of the world's leading advocates of alternative and renewable energy solutions worldwide, seeking to help address the consequences of climate change. Additionally, it contributes to the development of the renewable energy sector in island countries such as the Caribbean and Pacific Islands and has established two funds to provide solutions and support renewable energy. Over the past 10 years, the UAE's total assistance to the renewable energy sector reached about 1.25 billion US dollars. The UAE's assistance to the renewable energy sector remains one of the driving forces for the economy, promoting job growth and empowering women, contributing 
to the achievement of sustainable development goals and environmental benefits. These significant achievements reflect the UAE's civilization and culture and the respect and appreciation it has drawn both regionally and globally under the guidance of wise policymakers and leaders who have worked tirelessly to ensure the UAE enjoys a prestigious regional and international status. The UAE has proven a model of wisdom, moderation, coexistence and peace and renowned for its achievements and excellence. The UAE has continued its efforts to raise the status of Emirati women in line with the resolution number no. 1 of 2019 issued by the President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan to increase the representation of women in the Federal National Council or the FNC to 50%. The UAE now leads in several regional and global indicators on gender equality and women's achievements, education and literacy, and female employment. Also, according to the Social Progress Index, among many other indicators, the UAE ranks first in the world for treating women with respect. In addition, women contribute to the ownership of nearly half of the small to medium enterprises, or SMEs, in the United Arab Emirates and the government's socio-political policies stress the need for a more equitable approach to the development of the family. The UAE supports the participation of Emirati women in decision-making as a core component of their economic empowerment. Federal laws now require the appointment of women to the boards of all government institutions. Women represent 50% of the Federal National Council and 27% of the new cabinet composition with eight female ministers. Moreover, the UAE has made remarkable progress in reducing the gender gap in girls' education in schools and higher education with women comprising more than 70% of UAE university graduates. Economically, women make up 46.6% of the total workforce holding 66% of public sector jobs, 30% of which are decision-making positions. Furthermore, there are 23,000 businesswomen managing projects worth about 15 billion US dollars in the UAE. In the field of foreign investment and talent attraction, the UAE cabinet approved a resolution granting foreign investors ownership of up to 100% in 13 different economic sectors. A new system of visas introduced provides investors and their families with long-term visas of up to 10 years. In addition, residence visas of up to 10 years have also been granted for specialized competencies in the fields of medicine, science, research, and technology, as well as for scientists and innovators. The UAE is proud to host Expo 2020 Dubai, the world's first event to highlight the creativity and achievements of humankind. It will welcome more than 200 participants from countries, companies, organizations, and educational institutions highlighting the country's ability to gather the world under one roof. Expo 2020 Dubai will contribute to the growth of the UAE economy injecting 33.4 billion US dollars between 2013 and 2031. During the 2020-2021 event, Expo 2020 Dubai will contribute 1.5% of the country's GDP. The impacts of the positive transformation of the UAE's global competitiveness position apply to more than economic scenarios. They also reflect on the country's stature and position in a variety of sectors. The UAE can compete with economies that have been leaders in this competitiveness for decades and has secured high-ranking positions among the top 10 countries. The UAE has joined the list of the best 15 economies in the world 
and was ranked amongst the best 20 countries according to the 2014-2015 Global Competitiveness Report issued by the World Economic Forum. In 9 out of 12 global reports of competitiveness issued by international institutions, the country was ranked 12th in 2014-2015, having been ranked 19th the year before. This achievement qualified the UAE as a global destination to attract, retain, and produce talent. It was ranked 19th globally and the first among the Arab and Middle East countries in the Global Talent Competitiveness Index. Dubai Economy, the Department of Economic Development within the Government of Dubai, is the governmental body entrusted to set and drive the economic agenda of the Emirate of Dubai. Dubai Economy supports the structural transformation of Dubai into a diversified, innovative, service-based economy and aims to improve the business environment and accelerate productivity growth. Dubai Economy and its agencies develop economic plans and policies, identify and support the growth of strategic sectors, and provide services to domestic and international investors and businesses. The key strategies adopted by Dubai SME are advocate a pro-business environment for developing entrepreneurship and SMEs, seed innovative startups and groom promising SMEs. Dubai SME's vision is to make Dubai the center for innovative small and medium enterprises to start, grow and expand their businesses, thus adding greater value to the economy of Dubai. Dubai Exports, the export promotion agency of Dubai Economy, commenced operations in 2007. The Dubai Exports mandate is to facilitate trade from Dubai and establish itself as a world-class export development and promotion body by creating an enabling environment for Dubai's exporters. Dubai Exports has developed a range of value-added trade support services to UAE-based firms exporting through Dubai for accelerated and profitable expansion of their businesses in foreign markets. The Dubai Investment Development Agency, or Dubai FDI, in the Dubai economy develops, promotes, and supports foreign direct investment opportunities to facilitate investors' success, growth, and expansion in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and across regional and international markets. One of the world's fastest growing economies, Dubai's gross domestic product is projected at $107.1 billion, with a growth rate of 6.1% in 2014. Although several core elements of Dubai's trading infrastructure were built on the back of the oil industry, revenues from oil and natural gas accounts for less than 5% of the Emirates' revenues. It is estimated that Dubai produces 50,000 to 70,000 barrels of oil a day and substantial quantities of gas from offshore fields. The Emirates' share in the UAE's total gas revenue is about 2%. Dubai's oil reserves have diminished significantly and are expected to be exhausted in 20 years. Real estate and construction, trade, entreprot, and financial services are the largest contributors to Dubai's economy. Dubai's non-oil foreign trade stood at $362 billion in 2014. Of the overall trade volumes, imports had the biggest share, with a value of $230 billion, while exports and re-exports to the Emirate stood at $31 billion and $101 billion respectively. By 2014, China had emerged as Dubai's largest international trading partner with a total of $47.7 billion in trade flows, up 29% from 2013. India was second among Dubai's key trading partners, with a trade of $29.7 billion, followed by the United States at $22.62 billion. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was Dubai's fourth trading partner globally and first in the GCC and Arab world, with a total trade value of 14.2 billion. Trade with Germany in 2014 totaled 12.3 billion, Switzerland and Japan both at 11.72 billion, 
and the UK trade totaled at 10.9 billion. Tourism is an important part of the Dubai government strategy to maintain the flow of foreign cash into the Emirate. Dubai's lure for tourists is based mainly on shopping, but also on its possession of other ancient and modern attractions. As of 2018, Dubai is the fourth most visited city in the world based on the number of international visitors and the fastest growing, increasing by a rate of 10.7%. The city hosted 14.9 million overnight visitors in 2016. Dubai has been called the shopping capital of the Middle East. Dubai alone has more than 70 shopping centers, including the world's largest shopping center, Dubai Mall. Dubai is also known for the historic Souq districts located on either side of its creek. Traditionally, those from East Asia, China, Sri Lanka, and India would discharge their cargo and the goods would be bargained over in the souks adjacent to the docks. Dubai Creek played a vital role in sustaining the life of the community in the city and was the resource which originally drove the economic boom in Dubai. As of September 2013, Dubai Creek has been proposed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Many boutiques and jewelry stores are also found in the city. Dubai is also referred to as the City of Gold, as the Gold Sug in Lera houses nearly 250 gold retail shops. For the eighth consecutive year, the UAE took the lead among Arab countries in the Global Prosperity Index, issued by the British Institute Legatum in November of 2015. The report pointed out that the UAE is ranked first regionally in security, public, and community safety, and the Human Freedom Index that measures how individuals practice their religion freely in the state. It is noteworthy to mention that the achievements of Children of Zayed exceeded all expectations and limits for embracing space during 2019, which are the results of a work trip that began with the launch of the Emirates Astronaut Program in 2017 and ends with the Baikonur Space Station. The UAE-Kuwaiti relationship goes back more than six decades and has been characterized from the beginning by great momentum. As the Kuwaiti educational mission in the Emirates began during the year 1955 to establish and equip many schools before the declaration of the Union. The Kuwaiti medical mission also launched its work in the United Arab Emirates in the early 60s of the last century by establishing many centers and hospitals. In the 70s, fraternal relations based on the ties of blood, inheritance, history, and a shared destiny deepened and strengthened with the support of the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan and the late Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Jabir al Ahmed al Sabah. May God rest their souls. The UAE translated the size and strength of the relations that bind the two brotherly countries to its honorable position during the occupation of Kuwait in 1990, as the UAE hosted tens of thousands of Kuwaiti families on its soil, while the UAE armed forces participated in the war to liberate Kuwait. In the fourth session of the Kuwait-UAE Joint Higher Committee via video conference that Kuwait hosted, Kuwait's Foreign Minister and Acting Minister of Information, Sheikh Dr. Ahmed Nasser al Muhammad al Sabah, praised the relations between Kuwait and the UAE, explaining that their sisterly ties have been promoted and consolidated due to the courageous historical stances by the United Arab Emirates during the Iraqi occupation of Kuwait and its support for Kuwait to get its right in the most difficult circumstances as well as its relentless endeavor for the liberation of the state of Kuwait through the great sacrifices and services provided by the government and the people of the UAE that will remain eternal in the history of the relationship between the two brotherly countries. The late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al-Nahyan 
may Allah rest his soul in peace, made honorable stances during the occupation of Kuwait that mirrored his keenness on the relations between the two brotherly countries, the minister stated. Under the leadership of the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan, the sisterly country of the UAE hosted tens of thousands of Kuwaiti families on its lands and raised the Kuwaiti flag at that time on its official headquarters. The minister went on to say that Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan made the national anthem of the state of Kuwait alongside the national anthem of the United Arab Emirates in addition to his decision on the Emirati forces' participation in the war to liberate the state of Kuwait, adding that all these are honorable stations that will remain in the memory of Kuwait and Kuwaitis forever. Relations between the two countries witnessed a remarkable development during the reign of Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan, President of the United Arab Emirates and the late Emir Sheikh Sabah al Ahmed al Jabr al Sabah. Moreover, in dedication to the strengths of the relations between the two countries and the desire to launch them towards broader horizons of cooperation and coordination, the two countries signed an agreement to establish a joint committee for bilateral cooperation in 2006 in Kuwait City. And the committee held a number of meetings during which several programs and agreements were signed to enhance cooperation between the two countries. On the economic and commercial level, the process of cooperation between the two brotherly countries, especially during the past few years, confirms the strength of relations and the integration of the two economies. The UAE and Kuwait believe in the importance of economic and commercial cooperation between them and activate this through increasing trade exchange and strengthening bilateral economic relations in various economic, industrial, commercial and investment fields, both at the private and public levels. The UAE and Kuwait are linked to many economic and commercial agreements and memorandums of understanding that have contributed to increasing the volume of investment and trade exchange between the two countries to new heights. According to data from the Ministry of Economy, non-oil trade exchange between the nations jumped by 245% between 2010 and 2017, increasing from 7.4 billion dirhams in 2010 to 25.35 billion by the end of 2017. In 2018, the volume of trade exchange between the two countries in 11 months reached about $3.63 billion, making the UAE ranked first in the Arab world and second in the world after China, as the largest exporter of goods to the state of Kuwait during that period. Moreover, Kuwait and the UAE's airlines data indicate that there are between 180 to 200 direct flights connecting the airports of the two countries per week, while the number of Kuwaiti tourists who visit the UAE annually is estimated to be somewhere between 400 and 500,000 tourists annually. On the cultural and educational levels, private universities in the United Arab Emirates opened a wide field for attracting Kuwaiti students who found in them a suitable alternative to the academic institutions that used to take them to Europe and America, and their numbers in private universities in the Emirates are constantly increasing in addition to what the institutes, colleges, and universities are witnessing. He pointed out that some 730 Kuwaiti undergraduate students are studying in universities and academies in the UAE. The minister noted that since 1972, the two countries have signed 33 cooperation agreements that covered a wide array of domains. The foreign ministers signed three memoranda of understanding for cooperation in higher education and Islamic affairs, as well as an executive program for cooperation in arts and culture. Moreover, Sheikh Ahmed Nasser highlighted the peculiarity of the strong Kuwaiti UAE relations and the two countries' pursuit for integration on all vital domains to face challenges and meet the aspirations of their people. 
the foreign minister thanked the United Arab Emirates for hosting and facilitating the return of Kuwaiti travelers who were stranded abroad during the COVID-19 pandemic. He unveiled that Kuwait would participate in the Dubai Expo with its largest ever pavilion in such events, stressing his country's eagerness to see the success of the UAE-hosted international exhibition. The two countries are moving towards more joint work on the economic, political, and social levels, and the relations between them reflect the determination of the political leadership to push them to more converging and integrated levels in a way that serves common interests.